Karnataka's hijab row is intensifying. This as the Karnataka High Court hears uh, the issue on hijab restrictions on campus. In the latest visuals to come out of the state, this is from the PES College in Karnataka. A Muslim girl is seen being heckled by several students who are wearing or brandishing saffron shawls. The girl not just holds her ground as students brandishing uh, these saffron shawls surround her, she is also hurt, giving it back. Today, the Karnataka High Court is hearing petitions filed by five women from a government college in Udupi who have questioned hijab restrictions. The hijab protests began last month at the government girls' PU college in Udupi when six students alleged that they had been barred from classes for insisting on wearing the headscarf. Right-wing groups in Udupi and Chikmagluru have objected to Muslim girls wearing the hijab to class. Now, protests have clearly been intensifying even as the Karnataka High Court takes up uh, the matter. In Udupi, a massive crowd of students, some wearing saffron scarves, the others wearing hijab, protested at a college in a snowballing confrontation this morning. Srija joining us with the these uh, latest visuals from uh, as we see these latest vis visuals from the PES college in Mandya uh, uh, you know Shrija one lone woman really taking on this saffron brigade as it were brandishing scarves now she also shouts slogans back all of this as the Karnataka High Court hears this case Well, clearly that's uh, what we're looking at as far as the visuals go. Remember, it's not from one location that's been uh, uh, coming out, surfacing, but in fact various other districts as well. So this particular uh, case, what we're looking at, actually has surfaced from uh, the Mandya district of Karnataka. We are also looking at where the saffron-clad boys, clearly they were uh, already, in fact, waiting, waiting for women, especially wearing the hijab, to enter the college, and they were waiting to counter-attack them. Now, that's exactly what we are witnessing. We are also looking, this particular brave woman, the Muslim girl, she is shouting slogans also back at those boys, because if she's a lone woman right there, there are college administrators who are also trying to take her from that particular crowd but instead you know she after a point as she walks towards the class towards the college uh, we see these boys in fact try to heckle this particular woman where they are trying to shout slogans such as Jai Shri Ram also trying to mock her while you know where she's worn the hijab in the college campus now this has taken place in this particular college in Mandya district where we see this woman she's entering the college she parks her bike and then she walks towards a class and that is the uh, you know exact point where these boys try to counter them counter this particular woman wearing the hijab you can also see that she's trying to walk towards the class and the group of hindus who are activists also because remember what we also hear from our sources is that most of these students not just they are students of these colleges but they are also sometimes a part of these Hindu right-wing organization as union leaders. Now, that's what we are hearing. So, this could also be a provocation and in a form of provocation what we are looking on ground. Remember, they were all ready with their head headgears and also saffron staff waiting to basically attack if at all, not just one college in Mandya that we are talking about, but across the state of Karnataka, including Bagalpur that we saw when there was a stone-belting incident reported 
here as far as Udupi is concerned, we did see at MT College, Mahatma Gandhi Memorial College, where there were two different groups. One is the uh, uh, the boys, group of boys, over 200 of them wearing, sporting the headgears and saffron scarves and then trying to, you know, uh, heckle and also uh, sloganeering is what we have witnessed here on ground.